G'day YouTube and welcome back to Perfecting Pete. So unfortunately this week's episode is going to be a little bit less positive than most of the time. Um, and that's because I have really been struggling uh, over the last... Well, I, I say I've been struggling over the last week. Realistically, I've been struggling over the last six weeks, ever since I moved. I, I really haven't been able to find the right groove. Um, so we're going to talk about that today. Um, we're going to talk about where I'm at and um, some of the stuff that's going on that's, that's really kind of impacting me. Um, and I also thought it would be a good opportunity to talk about what drives us when we're at our lows. Now, you know, I, I talked about this a, a couple of episodes or a few weeks ago, um, you know, but I kind of wanted to go into a little bit more detail as to, as to why it's important. So if this is your first time joining us, uh, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, I release videos on a weekly basis every Tuesday talking about my personal weight loss journey as well as all the tips and tricks for weight loss and fitness I pick up along the way. Um, it is a no BS approach to to my journey, my experiences. Um, you know, I, I do talk about tracking the ups and downs and today we're going to be talking about a bit of a down. So um, I'll keep it brief. I always say that it never ends up being brief. It's almost one of those things now. It's, it's kind of an in-joke. If you watch regularly, every time I say it's going to be a short video, it's a long video. So I'll try and talk really quick. Um, no, I won't because I'll end up tripping over my own words. Anyway, so I, I moved. Um, I uh, went through a bit of a, uh, a serious life change um, as part of that move. It was actually what precipitated me having to move home. Um, and really what's affecting me at the moment has nothing to do with the, the thing that precipitated the move. It's the actual disruption to my entire life cycle, the, the, you know, my routine. I've just, I just cannot seem to find um, a routine to get back into. My weight stabilized, so I haven't lost any weight now in three or four weeks. I'm at 90 kilos. I have jumped back on intermittent fasting and uh, almost immediately fallen back off. I'm, you know, primarily because of because of work. I, I'm, I'm for some reason in the last three months as we as we roll up to as we approach the end of financial year in Australia, um, you know, I'm doing a lot more customer lunches. I'm doing a lot more customer dinners, uh, and I really struggle. Um, to try and fast while I'm sitting in a restaurant with a customer entertaining. So, um, you know, and on the days that I'm not doing that, because I might do that three or four times a week, um, or in the case of last week, I was told on Tuesday that I had to fly to Brisbane on Wednesday, um, which really makes it hard to put out a video on a Tuesday, by the way. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm out for the whole day. I'm traveling with people. I'm, I'm meeting customers. Uh, you know, you have coffee in the morning at a cafe to meet a customer. Then you go to a lunch. Then you have another cafe meeting in the afternoon. And then you have dinner. Um, or in my case, you know, and the other part of the routine that it really screws up is I get up at 4 a.m. to get to the airport for a day trip and I won't get home until 11.30 midnight. You know, if, you, if you're eating dinner, then, you know, you are really not going to bed until 1 a.m., 2 a.m. the next day. So, you know, that screws up my sleeping patterns. Anyway, at the end of the day, what I'm trying to say is I've really struggled to find a routine to settle back into. That has meant that my diet hasn't been up to scratch. I'm not fasting, uh, you know, on a, on a full-time basis the way I should be. I am not, um, you know, eating the foods that I should be because in a lot of cases I, you know, get home at midnight, what am I going to eat? I'm not really going to sit there and cook chicken. Um, you know, I started uh, jogging every day while I was on leave in the hopes that it would set a routine for when I went back to work. I went back to work last week and immediately started getting, um, you know, a mountain of work to catch up on thrown on my lap. So I was working nights as well as days. And then I ended up in Brisbane on, or, you know, I did an interstate journey on, on Wednesday. So that's kind of screwed my routine last week. This week, it looks like I'm in Melbourne for two days, another interstate trip, short notice. Uh, it's an overnighter. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm really struggling. I'm not going to, so I'm not jogging the way that I had hoped before work. Um, I just wake up exhausted uh, late for work usually because I've been working the night before uh, and uh, I'm not going to the gym now. My gym buddy, Paul, has thrown his back out. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it, that's got nothing to do with me not going to the gym. I could very well take myself off to the gym, um, but, you know, and, and I'm struggling to find time to do that, but, um, that doesn't help as well. Although on the other hand, it means I'm also not letting him down. So anyway, life's a bit of a mess at the moment. Um, that's the, the low I'm, you know, my thank heavens, my weight has stabilized. I haven't put on any weight. It sits around 90 kilos. It might go up or down half kilo, um, mainly down actually 90 seems to be about the peak. 
um, but you know, it's, it's kind of, it hasn't moved. The needle hasn't moved in three or four weeks. So funnily enough, I, even today I had a, a mate who, um, who dropped a stack of weight a couple of years ago and, and, uh, you know, has continued on the, in that lifestyle, good friend. Um, and quite motivating. He's always got something positive to say, but he said to me today that, you know, I'm continuing to look, you know, my body shape is changing and that was really motivating at the same time. I kind of look at myself and think, no, it's really not. Um, you know, I kind of feel like I've fallen right off the bandwagon and I need to hit the reset button and I'm struggling to find that reset button. Um, but it got me thinking about why, the, and I think I might be reiterating myself from a, a few episodes ago, but, but this is the time where it's important to understand why I'm doing what I'm doing and what it is I'm hoping to achieve. So, you know, I had a, a random, um, friend at work asked me, you know, how much weight did I plan to lose? You know, I've lost a, a stack of weight. Um, and how much further do I need to, do I want to go? What's your, what's your target? And I immediately said 82 kilos. Uh, and he asked me why, why not 80 kilos? Why not 85, 82, is such a specific number to be honest, it's a BS number. Um, you know, 82 kilos is about the top end of the uh, medium weight for my height in terms of BMI, which I don't believe in as a scale. And I've talked about that before. Um, but really I'm not targeting my weight. I'm targeting my body fat and I'm targeting how I feel. So I started at 34, 35% body fat, which is why I can tell you I was obese. Um, you know, I've lost 22 kilos and that's translated to about 11% drop in body fat. So I sit at around the 24% mark at the moment. Uh, and I'm goaling myself on hitting, you know, 15%, see how I feel. I'd ultimately love to hit 10%, 12%, somewhere in that space. Um, uh, but I don't really know how that's going to look. I don't really know how that's going to feel. I don't really know what's involved in getting there beyond continuing to lose uh, fat. Uh, the other thing is I'm trying to improve my health. Fundamentally, I don't want diabetes. Um, you know, as an obese person, that was a high risk, uh, lots of risk of heart disease. I'm still smoking. That's another thing I need to get rid of. So I'm kind of not gulling myself on weight, which is why 82 is an arbitrary number. It's the top end of normal. It's, oh, it's out of the overweight band in BMI, and it's easier to talk about than explaining everything I just explained. But it's important to I'm finding it very important to remind myself of why I'm doing this. Health, how I feel about myself, self-esteem, all of the things that you associate with, with being a bigger person, all of the negative aspects of being a bigger person, that certainly for me anyway. So, um, you know, I, I think I need to go and find that reset button. Um, there's no excuses. I'm not responsible to anyone but myself. And ultimately I'm the one, um, you know, every time I sit down and get take out because it's 1130 at night and I don't have anything to eat and I'm starving uh, and order a pizza or something. I, I got no one to hold responsible but myself. And if I don't hold myself responsible, then that behavior is going to not only continue, um, but the negative feelings towards myself for doing it in the first place will actually feed into a higher likelihood of me doing it again. So it's also important, you know, I'm keeping it in mind on a pretty regular basis to shortcut that cycle. Don't get stuck in that self-incriminating, you know, depressing cycle. Um, but that's where I'm at. So I don't really have a plan at the moment other than I know I, I know what I need to do. I need to get back to the, the rigor and the, the routine that I had before. I need to find my, my pulse, if you like, um, since I've moved. I don't think it's because of the physical location I'm living in. I just think that was such a disruptive shake up of my life and routine that I kind of haven't really settled back into it yet. Um, and I think that's being a bit, that progress is being a bit retarded because, uh, which means slow, it's a word, doesn't necessarily mean what you think it means. Um, I think my progress is being retarded because I'm working crazy hours. I'm working 90 to hundred hour weeks. I'm working seven days a week. And, and that, that actually, um, is blocking me from finding a good cycle. So, um, anyway, that's all I wanted to say. It's a general update. There's not much in it. Um, it's really not probably or not all that motivating. Uh, if, if you're someone who's procrastinating about weight loss, but I think the important thing is, and the reason why I wanted to share it anyway is a, because when I say this is a no BS channel, it's a no BS channel. So, um, you know, I've been struggling. I wanted to, to share that with you because it's part of the journey. Um, if it was easy, then, you know, there wouldn't be obese people realistically. Um, this is the time when, um, you know, you're tested and this is the time where you kind of have to hunker down and, and dig deep, um, and kind of 
hold yourself accountable for the decisions you're making. And, and that's really where I am focused right this minute. I need to start holding myself more accountable. I need to push myself back on that bandwagon. And I need to thank my lucky stars that I'm not putting on a shit ton of weight uh, while I'm kind of in this this plateau phase where I haven't plateaued weight wise. I have, but it's not the, the, the plateau really is psychological and emotional and um, you know motivational. That's where I've plateaued. I haven't gone back to eating shitty food every day. I'm not eating three. I'm not going for the, the McDonald's trifecta or anything crazy like that. Um, you know, I'm still still erring towards or I'm still um, focused towards good quality whole foods. Um, that's a, a permanent change for me as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I, I ate a pizza the other day. Um, but, you know, by and large, it's I'm making healthier choices. I'm making healthy choices for food. Uh, I'm just not exercising like I should be. I'm not in a minute fasting like I should be. Uh, I'm not, um, you know, not cooking every other day. So, um, you know, in terms of motivation, if you're if you're procrastinating, um, it's important to know that when you're starting a weight loss journey, that there are going to be ups and downs, and um, that the downs don't erase the ups. I've still dropped 22 kilos. So I still feel fantastic. I still get the shits that, or I get frustrated that, uh, you know, I've got lots and suits and, uh, you know, jeans and all my clothes don't fit. Um, you know, and I'm also extra frustrated that I don't feel like my weight's where I want it to be. So I don't really want to go out and spend a whole bunch of money on new clothes, which would normally be a good way to celebrate weight loss. Um, knowing I'm just going to have to throw them out if I do drop that last or when I drop that last eight kilos. So, um, yeah, point is in terms of motivation, there are ups and downs. You need to push through the downs to get back to the ups. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. This channel was originally designed to keep me honest and also to share my journey and, and see if I could help motivate other people on the internet. Um, this is the keeping me honest part, knowing that I have to face this camera and face you, uh, my subscribers and, and casual visitors every Tuesday, I, I can't fail. I will not let myself fail. Um, you know, not mainly because of myself, um, you know, my, my sense of, of commitment to this, uh, my commitment to you for bothering to watch, um, you know, you're, you're putting in your time. So, um, you know, I owe you that. Anyway, I'm rambling now. Uh, I just wanted to, to give you a general update. I'm having a shitty week or I'm having a shitty month, um, realistically. And um, stay tuned and see how I pull myself through this because I sure as shit will. Um, so I will see you next Tuesday, hopefully with a much more positive update. Um, and I think we'll pick a specific topic and go through that. So until then, um, thanks very much for watching. Hit my Instagram. Um, it's perfecting underscore Pete. Uh, Facebook's the same. Pick a social media path. They're both identical in terms of content. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you do to stay motivated when you're having a, a crappy period in life. Um, most of which is under your control, even when you say that it's not in, that, that it's not in your control. Um, leave me a comment and let me know what you do to stay motivated and stay focused. Uh, and I will see you next Tuesday.